Okay, welcome to Levi's Stadium. The 49ers have ended their six-game losing streak, beating the Raiders 34-3. The Raiders have lost four in a row now. Uh, the story of the game, the big takeaway, at least from the 49ers side, we'll get to the Raiders in a bit here with Matt, was the Niners debuted a new starting quarterback today, Nick Mullins, who arrived last year as an undrafted rookie out of Southern Myth, which is also where Brett Favre played. And Mr. Brett Favre Hall of Famer called Nick Mullins in the locker room like a presidential phone call to congratulate him on his victorious debut. He had three touchdown passes, uh, one on each of his uh, first two possessions of the first half and the first possession after halftime. And Nick Mullins looked like a keeper, which means basically what? Because Jimmy Garoppolo is going to take back that reign next year when he comes back from an ACL. So this basically, though, is the start of the Nick Mullins evaluation period to see if he can be the backup quarterback for the 49ers going forward. And so far, he looks great as a starter. Uh, Dieter, let's start with you. What was your uh, first impressions of Nick Mullins? Yeah, he's nice. He's a competent quarterback. I think we saw a couple good things from him in the preseason. Uh, if you go up against this Raiders defense and you can't tear him apart, there's probably big issues. And as a third string quarterback, it was 50-50 there. Uh, I certainly didn't expect him to do what he did, but I didn't expect the Raiders defense to look even this bad. Uh, this is good, though. I mean, you think about where this 49ers team is. The season doesn't mean anything. At least there's something to be positive about. Nick Mullins can go out there next couple of games. We'll see what happens. Maybe they end with Tom Savage. Who knows? But there's a little bit of optimism around a team that, frankly, there wasn't many reasons to be optimistic uh, going into this game. And now, you know, with a big, long bye week going into the uh, game against the New York Giants. Should be fun. Speaking of no reason to be optimistic, Matt. <laughs> Well, All right, well, let, let's discuss the Raiders because, I mean, we obviously knew that they're struggling on defense, but uh, what we saw tonight was really not a competitive effort from, from what it looked like. Yeah, we knew they were terrible on defense, but you have, like you said, a third-string quarterback never played a, a meaningful snap in the NFL. And John Gruden said yesterday he was going to call Brett Favre for some advice on how to stop Nick Mullins. I don't know if he never did that. I don't know if Brett Favre just totally fooled him, but they could not contain Nick Mullins. He marched down the field for two touchdown drives right away. And I don't care that the Giants are 1-7. Are They'll be here next week. The Raiders are undoubtedly the worst team in football. The Raiders right now, 6.75 yards per play they're allowing. That is the worst mark in NFL history for any defense. They, like, we say they have the worst defense in NFL history. We're not exaggerating. It's literally true. They are terrible on defense. And, and you know, the main theme of tonight was effort. You know, John Gruden, it, it, it's such a, a cliche thing, but at this point, you got to question the effort. The, the, the last touchdown run... I didn't see any effort. He went untouched with, with 11 guys, ran through 11 guys. So uh, real look yourself in the mirror moment for the Raiders. And obviously nothing left to play for in terms of this season. Obviously this franchise is focused on the future. And they're going to have to check themselves in the mirror. Well, the Raiders are now 1-7. and seven. That's where the 49ers stood before this game, before Nick Mullins, but also before their defense came to life. They had seven sacks tonight. That's their most since about a year ago, I believe, like week three or four. Um, and I don't, Matt, you explain this to me because the Raiders had not given up that many sacks on Derek Carr. They'd given up, I think, 17 through six, seven games. Mm -hmm. uh, they give up, Carr got sacked six times a night. McCarron comes in and gets sacked as well. The Niners' pass rush came to life. And is that because Colton Miller got hurt early in the game? Or is it just a, uh, I'm trying to <laughs> find <laughs> rationale. There is none. I mean, two years ago, the Raiders, Derek Carr was sacked. 16 times yeah. in 16 games. They ranked tied for 34th because the Browns had three quarterbacks, each sacked more than him. Last year, he was only sacked 20 times. This year, he has now taken 23 sacks through now eight games. Yeah. And, you know, Colton Miller went down with an injury. Coleccio Semele, their Pro Bowl left guard, was playing left tackle, left guard. Brandon Parker, the rookie right tackle, was out. Ian Silverman was playing a couple different tackle spots. But regardless of who they have in there, two weeks ago in London, Derek Carr took six sacks. He took six sacks again yeah. today. Derek Carr's played 70 games in his career. He's taken six sacks in a game three times, twice in the last three games. This offensive line is beyond repair right now. The injuries certainly don't help, but I don't think uh, it, they're that much of a hindrance, to be quite honest. And uh, it, like I said, when the, the chips are stacked against you, when the injuries, it's hard to muster up the, the courage and the fight on every single play. But the Raiders' offensive line, obviously not a, a, a huge worry in the long run, mm -hmm. but certainly not helping right now. Nick Mullins, zero sacks tonight, and uh, as whatever we seven sacks all season. That, <laughs> that, the that's what we're going to get to. The Raiders worst defense ever. Yes, but um, this also one last thing about Mullins and what this night reminded me of. You know, he's the first 49er starting quarterback to make his debut in primetime since. 
Colin Kaepernick. And Colin Kaepernick beat the Chicago Bears on a Monday night football game. Everybody thought he was going to come out, just handing the ball off the whole time. Steve Young said before the game, just, the Niners are going to play it safe. They're not going to let him air it out. Colin Kaepernick throws for about 260 yards, two touchdowns. R ridiculous. Nick Mullins just about the same line, three touchdowns. Um, very good, but he was also like Colin, like Colin Kaepernick, Kaepernick. Kaepernick. But in that game with Kaepernick, the defense had six sacks, including five and a half from a guy named Alden Smith. Tonight, the Niners' defense comes through with seven sacks. Kind of, hey, it's a it's a recipe that works for a good blowout win. They'll be back here Monday night against the New York Giants as a two and seven team with things looking so much brighter. While well, Matt goes back to cover the oh one and seven. Not play another game. They might just cancel the rest of their season. All right, thanks for watching. Bye bye.